Hit him with that yak, drink that hand up, hot band up. Bitch, just like Tony. Hey y'all, it's your girl, Nikki Marie, and I'm back with a story time. This story time a little fucked up, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Um, I have been drinking a little bit, so don't say shit to me. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do a story time when I was a bully. I probably I encourage y'all to go out and bully nobody, but and um, if y'all hear like some, it's because I got the heater on and I'm a little chilly, so. Anyways, <laughs> I got my Cheetos. And um, yeah, I'm gonna just talk about when I used to pick on this girl and the consequences. So this was when I was seven in first grade. There was this girl I was cool with. She was not even a problem. Like I don't know what my issue was when I was younger, but I was an evil ass kid. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. And um, yeah, me and her was cool. We wasn't like friends, but she was like an acquaintance, like you know, somebody I would talk to every now and then. But um, mind you, this girl still to this day, she's tall as fuck. In first grade, I was short. She was probably like, probably like three or four inches taller than me. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, like, she tall as fuck. And she used, like, people used to make fun of her, like, they'd be like, damn, you tall for your age and stuff. Still till the day she tall. Um, <laughs> what? You recording me? Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, like, I would talk to her now and then. And then, out of nowhere, I just started acting mean as fuck to her, like. I think I used to say rude shit to her. I don't really remember. I'm wondering if her, not her picture ain't up on my wall, but, um. Should I say her name? Because if I get big, I don't want, like, her watching this and then feeling like, you know. I couldn't stand her or something because she really was a nice person and she still is. Fuck it, I'm gonna just say it. Her name is. <laughs> um, me and her was cool. And then, like. Anyways, um, yeah, I used to be mean to her. I used to act rude and stuff. And then, like. Out of nowhere, I used to just be on some bully shit. Like, um, she would always bring her own lunch to school. Let me try to talk. She used to bring her own lunch. I would come up to her and literally snatch her damn food. Oh, oh. Me, Trey! Oh. Um. I don't remember what she used to bring, but I would just snatch it. And she'd be like, hey, like, stop taking my stuff. Um, stuff like that. And I'll just ignore her. Like, later on, I'll, I think I'll put it in my backpack or something. And just go home and eat it or something like that. Like, I would mean fuck y'all. Um, so, I used to take her lunch. And then, um, what happened? So when I used to take her lunch, then that's when the physical part started coming in. I don't know why, but... What the... Somebody else I think. That's a fucking win. But, um... <clears throat> like, after school, I used to, like run home on purpose or whatever and she'll be walking from me so I'll run and basically push the girl like literally on um, NOT COME GET YOUR She was just be shocked. She said something to me one time and I just kept on running. She saw her acting all wish watches you wanks! And then like I'll be walking on the way home laughing and shit. 
and it had like an evil smirk on my face like I don't know but um <laughs> so then um yeah I would do it every single time every single day I used to just push her on purpose uh, while going home take her uh, lunch like I don't know why but you know kids do stupid stuff so then one day um I came to school cause like where I live right now my old school my elementary school like right down the street so you know my, my house is not too far from it and um her mom and I think her sister or aunt or something came up to the school and they basically told my first grade teacher like there's this girl that's picking and bullying you know my daughter and such and such so then you know I came to my area because we had to stand outside like till the bell rang or whatever so I stood outside you know thought I'd go have a good day at school Till they came up to me, the teacher, her mama, her aunt, whatever. I think it was her sister. Um, yeah, my teacher told me like, yeah, I heard you been pushing her, taking her lunch, and then her mom talked to me. Um, <clears throat> she was like, yeah, that's not nice, and you should be taking um uh, and stuff. So um, <clears throat> me, I'm I'm the sensitive type. But when I was younger, I was more sensitive, like more of a crybaby. So, um, yeah, they were just like, don't, don't take her stuff no more. Don't pick on her and stuff like that. So, um, I was salty. I ended up crying because I was a fucking crybaby. And then we went to school. I think that whole day, I didn't even say nothing. Like, I was just thinking, like, damn. That's all I could think of was me talking to them like the teacher and stuff to like damn I really was a boy I had to think about it because you know sometimes when you do stuff you don't think about it till like the consequence so I was just like damn I really was picking on her and stuff I was taking her lunch um so then I think I don't know about middle school I think I did go to middle school with her, but I real life don't remember. No. But high school, um, yeah, we got older. And literally, like, me and her, we would talk like nothing happened. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, who can forget about being bullied or something? You know, like, I, um, 11th grade, I had a class with her. It was biology. And... <clears throat> Yeah, I had class with her. Um, I knew this one girl that was like, I think two um, deaths away from me. So I would talk to her and then somehow like me and other people would form into groups and then uh, she would be in the group with us. And I would just literally talk to the girl like, shit. Every, I don't know why, but every time I would talk to her, it was like, it'll, it will always play in the back of my head when I used to bully her. But, you know, I kind of try to ignore it, but I'll, I, it will always, you know, remind me of, yeah, this the girl you used to bully and shit. But yeah, um, I did apologize when I was like seven. I did apologize to her and stuff. I was like, I'm sorry for taking stuff and all that. Um, high school, yeah, we talked like literally nothing happened. Like, we used to laugh together, all that. Um. Uh, high school she was still tall then she got taller a little bigger um I don't know what happened to her after high school but um oops, excuse me but yeah basically um that's my story time me being a fucking bully um I don't think I got in trouble for it but if I did, I would have told y'all I got an ass whooping or something because I did get an ass whooping before. Um, but it wasn't for this situation, it was for something else. But yeah, um, shit, we talk like nothing happened, shit. 
it seemed like it didn't happen because the vibe between me and her it just seemed like we was two classmates that talked and shit we was cool with each other like it, it seemed like nothing happened between us but um like I still think about it till till the day I just be like damn um I did get bullied before I think twice I think in elementary school so yeah I do not encourage people to go out and bully people pick on people and stuff because when I got bullied I did not like it so I wouldn't want y'all or you know if I got young people watching this I wouldn't want y'all or anybody else thinking it's cool to pick on people because that shit is not cool um yep karma did hit me when I got bullied I got bullied in uh third and I don't even know but yeah I, I definitely got bullied more than once. And I think like three times. So yeah. Anybody that's young and you know, if y'all got a problem with somebody, it's not worth it. Um learn how to ignore and stuff. Do not pick on that person. Do not try to humiliate them. Don't try to take a lunch. Don't push them when you like literally running home after school do not do it because it's not worth it it's not worth getting in trouble for um i'm not on that of course i'm mature i just think that shit lame basically and what i would say to my young self is yeah you should got an ass whooping that day i don't even think um my teacher told my mom or nothing but you know like i said i still think about it i'll just be like wow I was a fucking bully. I think, like, now that I think about it, like, I didn't really expect myself to be a bully, but shit, it ended up happening. I ended up being one at a young age. Um, but yeah, that's my story time when I was a bully. And yeah, do not go out and try to pick on somebody because shit, I'm. I should be glad that the girl ain't attacked me because like I said, she was, uh, I was tall and she, I mean, she was tall and I was short, so, you know, what if she went home and told her mom, like, yo, this is girl picking on me, what if her mom told her to, like, fight me or something? Mmm, damn, Lenadia, mmm, Lenadia. That ended up happening again, so, I'd rather, like, have them come to me and be like don't do that instead of me end up possibly get my ass whooped by this girl just for picking on her so yeah I'm glad that um, I matured and in high school we you know we were still cool with each other and stuff like that's yeah but yeah that's my story time um I got more videos coming for y'all I did a mukbang but my dumb ass I delete some clips and now I gotta do another one. I don't know when. Uh, I don't know, but it, it was a good mukbang video too. I talked about some stuff. Um, I might just like say the same stuff over on my next mukbang video because, man, I wish I still had it. I would have been posted it today or something. But yep, yeah, that's my story time. And yeah. Don't be a bully. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Boys knows Benadryl. All these hoes want the same thing like a sending it down. And it's chain, rings, queen, Celine, Jermaine. She want it. It's a dream. Keep them going. She twerk.